technically the girl winds up getting one too. This would be the one and only boss in the game. You fight her at the end of every day. It's Shadow. No, not Shadow the Hedgehog. And unfortunately, no, not Final Fantasy VI. It's Shadow. It's the third badass Shadow in video games. For one, she has a giant flaming sword. And for two, she's actually extremely hard. But... The fact that I have double jump regen and all eight hearts is going to make it really easy. If you don't have any of those, you're not going to have a prayer against this boss. The background always wears me out. And the music is awesome. That attack... These attacks are actually some of them are a lot harder to dodge than they look. The only one that's easy is that slash attack. She has an attack later on, you'll see it here pretty soon actually. That's this big, like, energy blast that is actually can be extremely hard to dodge. Depending on where you are in the arena, whenever here, it's probably gonna come. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yep, there it is, right there. You have to be up against the wall, or else it will hit you for 10 damage, which is a lot. Because each heart is, uh, for health. It's not like one heart is one health, it's not like the attack is one hit kill, but it's devastating. It can be- it can hurt you big time. As awesome as this music is, it is creepy. That would be how not to dodge it. I really don't like it when she combos like that. Well, okay, Taylor, she didn't combo, but that's my fault, but still. Damn it! I don't want to get my hit a hundred times this walkthrough. This is supposed to be a walkthrough, not me getting my ass kicked. That attack doesn't hurt you sometimes. I don't know why. I think when you're standing, that attack can't hurt you, but when you're moving, it can. I'm not sure. That's how the that meteor attack is weird. The only way to damage her is to collect these black, these dark gems. Which are only released when she hits herself with that big falling rock attack. So if she performs multiple attacks like that at once, they can all be really hard to dodge. That actually should hit. Surprised that didn't hit me. Now, I think this shit with the word malevolence is doing in the background. Up with words like pain, suffering, fear, agony, evil, shadows, hate, and then malevolence. That really doesn't work. I really don't like it when that attack starts aiming for you. This is actually where the air recovery can screw you because it reduces your st it, it increases your recovery, but it reduces your stun time. Alright, one 
more round of dark jabs and she's done for. really increases as the fight goes on, that's for sure. Attack already. I hate it when air recovery screws me over. Okay, one last. There we go. Actually not required, but it really helps you with your skills. It, really, it, it makes getting the skills way easier. Radar still is actually really useless once you get a lot of the gems, because all it does is point out like the minuscule spots that you actually missed. skill does is uh, it points you towards the gems that you have yet to get but it's not like any of the gems are really hard to find there's only um, one set of gems that's actually hidden in like a corner and once you know how to get it it's really easy you need the dash skill but other than that it's really easy 
Actually, I think you need double. I think you need double jump for it too, because you need to use both dash and double jump to enable yourself to go the distance and the height needed. But it's not like it's hard or anything. Oilers are gay. 